Hi everyone. It's June 19th about 2.20 p.m. I'm having a significant flare of my mast cell disease. It's Tuesday. I also had one on Sunday. And then inexplicably yesterday I felt fine, no problems at all. But I wanted to share with you what my life is like with mast cell disease and there really aren't that many videos on YouTube showing somebody in the throes of it as it were. So, um, I'm nauseated. That is always the worst symptom for me. I've taken two doses of IV medication already today. Um, I'm currently hooked up to, where is it, to an IV. This is just normal saline, um, and then sometimes I add in medication. Usually I add in medication if I need to. Um, I had to do an IV on Sunday too. Uh, and then I'm going to sort of, hopefully, I want to get so, get a really sort of good view of what's going on here. It's not going to come out so well because of the light, but, oh, and it's mirrored. Uh, you see all these blotches all around here. You see that my ears bright red. I can't. I don't know where my other one is. I can't tell. It's the sun's hitting it. It was just now. I have a, all these marks on my chest, and I'm going to show you my back. Well, I'm going to try to. It's probably not going to show up very well, but. Actually, you can sort of see on the top of my, eh, sorry, top of my arms there, but, um, I don't know if you can see. I don't think you can because of the sunlight coming through the window. Um, I'm sitting with a cold towel around my neck in bed because... The cold, towel, the cold towel helps with the nausea a little bit and also because this what I get on my skin hurts and it feels so hot. It's horrible. Um, so, when I get a flare, and so far, I had one month I went without one. Other than that, I may have had a three-week one at one point, and I've gone ten days, but this is what I've been dealing with for the last uh, four plus years. I'm on treatment. I'm actually on a lot of meds, and if I wasn't on all those meds, this flushing would be even worse, because it used to be worse than this. And the nausea would be worse, because it used to be worse and even more frequent than this. The other thing that happens to me always is my blood pressure goes up. Um, I've actually sent off a note to my doctor because I have two rescue meds basically for when I get excessive hypertension with my flares and they haven't worked at all today. Um, I think my late, my latest reading was something like 173 of 104 which is down a bit since I started but still not good and in fact my blood pressure spikes way way higher than that. It hasn't today but it does. Um, I need to take a drink. I have to drink. Just sit constantly. 
because my mouth feels so dry when I'm like this I can't do anything I can't concentrate well enough to read or to play a game on my laptop or my Kindle um, I generally just watch certain mindless TV shows um, a flare of mast cell disease. It's when your mast cells go crazy and they start spitting out loads of different chemicals. And those chemicals affect your GI tract a lot, which is why I have the nausea and also chronic diarrhea. And they affect your skin. <laughs> Clearly. They affect your brain and your thinking. It is much harder to think clearly when I'm having a flare. And I forget things that I normally wouldn't forget. The other thing it does, though, is cause extreme anxiety and depression. And the depression, for me, can actually come on in minutes, a couple minutes. Um, and although I know that it's the disease, it's so fucking hard. I just hate this. I hate living like this. On Sunday, we had friends who were in Seattle just for one day. And it's one of Chris's two best friends and his wife. So I really wanted to go because we always have a good time together. But, as I was waiting for the fair, he had started, Menage started. But I wanted to be brave and just push through, and I used IV medication on the ferry. Um, I felt okay at the restaurant until the end, and I ate fish and chips, and I think it was just too much for my system for whatever reason. And I started just sort of feeling lightheaded and just weird. And I told Chris I had to go home. I gave myself more medication on the way home. And then I came home and I set up the IV and did even more medication. Um, it was a, it was a bad day. It wasn't helped by the fact that in the ter ferry terminal on the way back, um, it's such a mess right now. They're doing construction. They're going to be doing construction for years. And there's hardly any room. And it was a weekend afternoon in the summer, which is just horrible anyway. And it was hot as hell in the uh, terminal. And you couldn't wait outside because of the way they now have it set up. Um, so it was just like a pack of people in this like pretty small space and it was pretty bad and that I know made me feel worse this I don't know why this happened I I have no clue and that's the thing most of my flares I would say the majority I have no clue why they start um I don't know what the triggers are I can't avoid them. I said that this makes you anxious and depressed. Um, for me, and I know I'm not alone in this because I've talked to other people about it, it makes me suicidal very, very quickly.
um, I basically go from I'm feeling fine to okay I want to die and I want to die now because I just can't bear a love like this anymore and I know I know it's the chemicals I know it but it just is so hard um, the muscles put out hundreds of different chemicals so it's like your entire body is affected and it all just goes haywire and and you have zero control over it it is akin to a very severe re allergic reaction but it is not an allergic reaction it is an allergic type relax reaction because it's not um, mediated by certain cells IgE for instance it is the mast cells themselves and they just like I said when they when you get a flare they do what's called degranulate so like they fall apart and as they're falling apart they kick out all, the, all these chemicals and then those chemicals trigger you know other things it's like a cascade one thing goes then another and then another and then another i have other symptoms too though the nausea and the flushing are the worst for me but and the de and the depression i also get the anxiety obviously i itch i have sometimes have terrible itching but i'm so used to it i hardly ever notice it anymore um I get, golly geez, I can't even think, see, brain fog, <laughs> memory issues, um, difficulty speaking when it's really bad, <laughs> like even putting one sentence together, sorry, uh, what else do I get, irritable bladder, sorry, I know, TMI, but, um, yeah, I can't think of anything else down there. There's a bunch of other things. Oh, excuse me. Anyway. This. This is a face. A face. Of mast cell disease. Um, if you don't know what mast cell disease is. I've told you a little bit. You know about the mast cells degranulating. But. I do encourage you to look it up and read about it. Um, it is a bitch of a disease because it has no cure. A lot of people who get it actually get worse over time. I hope that isn't going to be the case for me. Um, very few people from what I can tell, from what I've read and seen, very few people go into full remission from this. And the thought of dealing with this for another 20 plus years is just, it's just hell. It's just horrible. Anyway. I'm going to end this now. I'm not too nauseated right now. It's only moderate. Um, if you watched all the way through, thank you. If you have muscle activation syndrome, or if you um, think you might have it, I would absolutely love to hear from you in the comments. Um, there really aren't that many, as I said, videos on YouTube about this. I mean, compared to the number of videos, there are just really very few about mast cell disease. Um, but yeah, I'd love to hear from you. And 
maybe we can, you know, share some things and help each out, help each other out a little bit. Uh, okay, well that's it. I'll see you again soon, okay? Bye. Oh, one more thing. Please don't think like, oh my god, I need to call like suicide prevention or something. You don't. I'm okay. I'm not going to do anything. It's just the way I feel. And it's the way I feel frequently. And I've been dealing with it for a very long time. That part of it. Um, I have resources. I have my family. I'm never alone. Well, I shouldn't say never. Rarely alone. So I just want to let you know that. Okay? Alright. Thanks. Bye.